New at 5 o'clock tonight, several audits have already proven the last election was not rigged. But after a new ruling today, the state Senate will get access to the 2.1 million ballots cast in Maricopa County to conduct another audit of the results. This has been in the courts for months now, Jared, pitting state Senate Republicans against our GOP-led County Board of Supervisors. Political editor Dennis Welch is live tonight to help offer perhaps a little more context for us, Dennis. Yeah, and the county has been fighting a state a Senate a legislative subpoena, um, but they say they're not going to be challenging this latest court ruling. However, that doesn't mean this is the end of this current legal drama. I'm not done with it. I will continue to talk to outside legal counsels and attorneys to see what we can do next. Since the Republican-controlled board won't appeal the ruling, Supervisor Steve Gallardo, the lone Democrat, says he will try to find an outside group to pick up the legal fight and keep the Senate from getting its hands on the ballots. Very disappointed with the judge's decision. The fact is that uh, he is, uh, has stated in his decision that he is giving a small group of Arizona state senators, Republican state senators, carte blanche over our election system. The timing of when the Senate begins its own audit remains unclear. Although the county has conducted multiple independent audits and provided reams of data on its election equipment, the Senate insists they need access to the ballots to conduct its own review. But the timing of when that review begins remains unclear. As Senator Warren Peterson, who was one of the Republicans leading this effort, said they still need to hire an auditor, which could take a few weeks. Meanwhile, the attorney representing the Senate says Gallardo's threat to continue the legal challenge is pointless. I am troubled by um, Gallardo's statements. He's going to look for someone else to continue the litigation. Uh, that's really fruitless. There's no point in it, but I think it's good politics for him. And just in case you're keeping track now, since that election, the county has, provided, has done its own forensic uh, audit of some of the software and the election equipment. There's been a hand uh, recount or a hand inspection of about 1,600 ballots. And there was also the release of two independent audits this week. And nothing has shown anything that would reason to give us any reason to question the integrity of our election system here in Maricopa County and the state. Send it back into you.